images. In this video I want to tell you why you should not get the Hardy Gurdy. I know Patty Gurdy made a video that you should get one for seven reasons whatsoever. I will tell you why not to have one. First reason. Oh. You know, Hardy Gurdy is a very expensive instrument. Um, but you can get like a cheap violin for around 70 pieces of eight, or you can get a cheap guitar for other, around 100 pieces of eight. I mean, many instruments can be cheap if you want to buy the, the, the crappy Chinese quality, anyways. Hardy gathers cannot be cheap, and they will never be. Well, it can you anything from 1,000 to 5,000 pieces of eight. Well, that's a lot. What well, costs many many instruments cost a lot. I mean, pianos are expensive and and uh, whatever. Mm. I said there is no way to get a cheap hardy gurdy. <laughs> well, I lied. In the next video, I will show you a full review of a very cheap hardy gurdy I got my hands on. Mm -hmm. Second reason, well, again. Gold! You will spend a lot of money on buying your instrument, okay? Um, then you have it at home and you think, okay, I can play now and that's everything we spend for the rest of my life. I mean, this investment on my instrument is going to be great. No! Well, first of all, you're going to spend for cotton and rosin continuously. And then you're probably going to buy yourself new strings and then you're probably going to buy yourself a new one at some point because you think that you, your actual hardware is maybe not as good as you want it to be so you spend other money, you spend more money on your instrument and that is what is going to happen, trust me. Third reason is maintenance. Oh, when they told me, when they told me that a hardware needed maintenance, I thought you need to clean it and to keep it in a cool and dry place, uh, maybe replace the strings from time to time, I don't know, clean the wheel, no, it's not like that. When I say maintenance, I mean, every single time you have like one hour to play your instrument, you're going to spend 50 minutes tuning, retuning, rosining, cottoning, re-cottoning, re-rosining, etc. And that is what I call maintenance. Another point is noise. When I say noise, you might think of people playing the violin in the house just next door. Well, that's kind of cute. Hardigadis makes more noise than that. Uh, it makes more noise and the noise people are going to hear mostly is your curses because you're going to tune the instrument and to rosin and the wheel and to cut on the strings and all the time you're going to be cursing out of your lungs. Then we have playing with the band. Okay, you buy yourself a new instrument and you're going to play it just, you know, a few times just alone in your bedroom and it's perfectly fine. Then at some point you start thinking, oh, it would be cool to have a band to play my hardy gardy with. No, that's not gonna happen. I mean, there are people who play hardy gardies with the band and they're great people, I don't know how they can do that because most of the time you have to tune your instrument um, according to other people's instrument and since the hardy gardie doesn't have frets, it has tangents, it needs to be fine tuned so you're probably going to be out of tune most of the time and then, even if you do, well, it's a hell to record I mean. Uh, unless you have an electroacoustic instrument, you're going to need microphones and probably your volume is going to be different from that of other instruments if you play live on the square, I mean just without any amplifier, without any recording, it's going to be very nice. Except that many violins are going to have more or bad pipes are going to be to have more volume than you, so nobody will actually listen to your hardy gurdy. And uh, in any case, the scale you have, I mean, you don't have that many keys, okay? So you're going to play in a scale, and of course, you have the, 
trumpet and the bordon, which have to be tuned, and that means that if your band wants to play a piece in C and then a piece in E and then a song in D, whatever, you have to change the tuning of your bordon every single time. Very funny. Now another point is polyphony. You know, as any other historical early music, medieval instruments, the hurdigadi was thought for a different kind of music, you know, with a drone and then with a melody on it. But then, wow, music has evolved ever since, and now music is mostly made out of chords. Chords, which means harmony. Harmony means that you have to play several notes at the same time, making a harmony. And you can't do that with a hardigadi. No, you cannot do chords. Forget about it. Okay, that was all. If you still think you want to buy one, one, well, be my hostage. Subscribe to my channel, you landlubbers.